Welcome in Renegades. We are going to do an upload today because ICP has hit the target um, that we set. And so I just wanted to go over some price um, talk with you today on my day off from doing videos. Um, we're going to look at some of the technical indicators to let you know whether or not we're still bullish, um, which obviously we are um, going into next year into the Bitcoin halving in April. This is huge. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at some of the tokens on the internet computer. Um, and we're going to look at the price. So we're going to look at the price first. Um, let's just do this now. We are on Coin Market Cap. Um, we are up at fourteen dollars and four cents. We're up nine point five six percent today. Um, we are moving up the ranks in the total market cap again. We are going to be a top five crypto. Just wait. Um, it's coming very soon, and even top three is where I really expect the internet computer to go. Um, our market cap is up ten percent, um, as well as the price is up as well. Um, our volume is up 46% to $441 million in the last 24 hours, number 23 out of 8,969 cryptos. And our market cap is just beautiful. Total circulating supply, 454,206,810 uh, ICP. So this is beautiful. This volume is sustaining our price move. It only took about 400 mil uh, to move to the top. So we go from about two. 80 to about 400 million to bring us up to that $15 level. So this is pretty impressive. This is pretty massive um, what we want to see um, in the market right now. So uh, let's go over here to the CFGI because this is very important. We are in extreme greed right now on the four hour. The only thing that's neutral is the technical because we are a little bit overbought on the RSI. So um, it, we've pumped a lot lately. So so the um, technical is neutral, which should be sell if we're pumping this high, but everything else is super positive. So technical has no choice but to be neutral, um, even though we are absolutely just skyrocketing. We have a long way to go. This is just the beginning, not financial advice, but uh, if you didn't pick up ICP, this is what you should have thought about doing. Uh, definitely do your own research and figure it out, but we're in extreme greed right now. Um, the price score positive, volatility positive, volume very positive, very very positive, uh, neutral, social uh, is neutral, dominance, very positive, search, negative, whales, positive, order book, very positive. And this is on the daily. Let's look at the smaller time frame. We're going to be negative on this one. Uh, yeah. That's what I was thinking. We're in fear on the 15 minute because when prices pump to about 15, people get scared. This is what the whales want. As you see, whales are still very positive, but the um, traditional investor is fearful because the price went from 15 down to 14, which is, you don't get fearful at, at a big pump and then a little bit of a retracement. That's normal. Uh, so let's look at the one hour. And this one is probably going to be about the same. Uh, okay, we're neutral on this one. We have a ton of positives. The whales, of course, are positive because they're positively making money. Their, their bags are looking positively beautiful. Uh, and then we have impulse, very negative, and this is the retail investors. Uh, volume negative, which means sell volume. Volatility, which means there's a lot of volatility from 15 to 14, boom, boom, boom. A lot of money making opportunities, dollar cost average, buy the dip. Buy the dip before it goes up more and you can't get more. Um, or it goes down and that's why you don't put a lot in at each level. You scale in more as you um, go down. So that's easy. So let's go and look at the charts because this is a level we've been talking about um, for a very long time. And we've hit it twice now, I believe. And every time we hit this $15 level, um, you're going to see um, this level that, that we're testing um, a big pocket of resistance from all the way from, I would say, 1487 all the way up to 1606. So we could really move past this at 1473. If we can close above this, this is the weekly candle, so we would need to do that by Sunday. Um, but if we if we close above this, this is our biggest resistance area. And then if we go to the monthly chart, this is going to be another area which is right around that $15 range. Um, if I am correct, let's uh, scoot this out a bit so you can see it. Um, but this is definitely something I would be looking um, towards. And I believe it's the 21 month moving average, I believe. Yes. So this is something we've already broken above and something that um, I would definitely be looking 
um, to close above this to stay bullish. So, and it's all the way down there at 1296. So this is an area where I would have a big buy order in somewhere around 13 bucks, just in case we do head back down. Um, but it looks like we're continuing this, you know, slow climb upwards um, uh, on the monthly. It seems slow. It's a huge climb upwards, but it seems slower on the month. Um, we did just start this month and we're already, you know, testing the previous year or even a new year uh, resistance, right? So I'm going to look at where this 50 is. This might be a little bit higher, but this is an area that I would be looking at as well. Um, yeah, okay, I don't even know if there is a 50. We, ha we haven't been around for 50 months yet. So the, we have the um, 21 month. I'd actually even like to see that. Let's look at like the 30, 30 month moving average. Okay, right here. And that is sitting somewhere at about $18. And I would really like to see that. So if we did the 21, let's look at the 25 week moving average, 25 month moving average, sorry. Um, okay, this is where we're testing the resistance on the uh, monthly chart, which is the 25 month um, average. So we're testing this as you see, we, we hit it perfectly there, we hit it perfectly there. So with this in the weekly, testing its, um, I believe, what is it, the 50 week moving average. Um, we're, uh, it's either the 50 or the 100. Let me go check, double check. I really believe it's the 50. Uh, 25, oh, it's the 100. So that's a 100 week moving average and the 25 month moving average over here on the monthly, this is very important because these um, levels are what is our resistance. So this is gonna be right here, 1539. And then on the weekly, we're looking somewhere around the same area of 1487. So from 1487 to 1589, we're going to be having a pocket of resistance here. That's good. Once we get above, um, I see us heading back to um, possibly not back, but up to, you know, uh, back up to $20, you know, like we were a long time ago, way back over here. So we could really see a nice test. Um, we did, well, there's a lot of even this resistance at 1560. So with these moving averages, with this previous resistance here from 1560 all the way up to 1727, um, I, I would see a big area of resistance right there. And if we get above that, I see a possible move to, let's see, $22. That's the area I'm looking at, this $22, 22 to about $23, 22 to $23.50. This is the area that I'm really looking at, so that's beautiful. Uh, this is what we want to see. And in the short term, we're going down a little bit because we had a big pump and a retest. We're hitting major resistance. Um, but as long as we can confirm support here at $13 on this weekly chart and then on the monthly, um, we just started the new monthly candle. So this is going to be important as well. And it's already moving up to the upside. It looks like we are getting a breakout here and it looks like we're going to be testing $15 again um, in, this month definitely this month so we could break out we're re I'm really looking for a $17 um, dollar ICP very soon there is a lot of resistance here so we might not break out exactly like we have now this could we could go sideways in here for a while to be honest I, I want to be super bullish right now because we're super bullish but I'm also going to be real with you um, there is a possibility of trending in this 15 to 13 dollar area before a test again of this 17 dollar area and then a breakout um, from 1736 all the way up to a possible you know we could have some resistance here at 19 or so on the monthly and then 21 uh, so there are more resistances but I'm thinking this $22 level is a pretty good mark where we're gonna see um, pretty soon in the next couple of a uh, few months so this is cool this is also a W a double bottom here that we had a double bottom blast off on the monthly Things are looking beautiful. Now, if we go over here to Sonic, I wanna um, show you some of the tokens that are over here. And then um, what I hold as well over here. 
Um, Trax token has just recently gone up. Um, I had like $500 worth. I took $100 out. I had $400 in there. And then it went back up to $800 after I put took the 100 out. The 400 doubled to $800. And then, yeah, now we'll see where it's at now, though. But I've already made... Uh, and then I took more money out and still over 500 I think I took a couple hundred out. Only because I wanted to keep 500 bucks in there and it went to 800 You know, I wanted to take $100 out. Keep 400 sorry, not 500 And then it doubled to 800 So I sold uh, a little bit then, gave a bunch of my mods... Um, and then sold some and then it went to 500 again. I think I have $500 left still in there. So I, the, even the hundred I took out, I got back. So pretty impressive. I'm really happy with my tracks token purchase SNS launch. Um, this is huge. This is great. We making money over here with everything that we, we talking about, we, we'd be making money. So 15,000 tracks tokens. Uh, so I had 27,000 to begin with. So I have 15,000 now. That means I got rid of 11,000 of them. And they are still worth more than what I started with. So doubled. Doubled the money on these ones. So let's see here. Yeah, so it's still $469 after I took 11,000 out. So, or 10, yeah, 10, 11,000 out. That's crazy, huh? 33 ICP for that. And we're going to hold on. You know, we're, we're going to hold as much as we can. If it keeps going up, might take more profit out. You know, and then just hold. I, I don't want to go lower than 10,000 though. I, I, uh, so if I make more money, it goes up. I might just stop at 10K, you know, or, you know, uh, sell the 5,900, wait for it to go down and buy more uh, and then ride the wave. So there's a lot of ways to make money with this. Um, it's pretty interesting. Now, if we go to ICP swap really quick, I just want to show you some of the tokens and how they've done so we can actually go look at Trax token and look at exactly the price. It has a, a chart over there. So we're going to go and we're going to look at this um, chart. Let's see, move over there yeah, for a second. Oop, back over here. Okay, so go to info, then we go to swap over here. Uh, third, 1409. 1409 12.7 million dollars lock now 500,000 in the last 24 hours this is huge for ICP swap dang look at that massive volume go wow I think tracks had a, a big part to do with that too Sneed okay ghost 3.52 million that's been there for a while but dang that's a lot of volume uh where's tracks token maybe they don't have a whole lot of liquidity over here yet they will. I think they are working on liquidity still, but we'll see. We'll see how much liquidity. Oh, no, they, they did do liquidity. Okay, they have 77K. Their big liquidity is over on Sonic, like you just saw, but I wanted to look at this. Three cents now. Up 10% today. $2,000 in volume. So 75K. Okay, let's look at this. Oh, my God. Look at that pump. I wish I would have. Oh, man, I should have sold at that pump right there. Look at that. From what? What was it? What was it? From a low of less than a penny, nine hundredths of a penny, all the way up to 10 cents, almost 11 cents. Dang, that's like an 11x in one day. One day. That's crazy. And then we go up and now we are sitting at three cents, right around three cents. Nice. So if you got in down here, you're making profit. Ever since we told you about this on the channel. This is beautiful. Love to see it. Now let's go look at Ghost Token a little bit because they are a partner with us for ICP Renegades. Um, they were airdropping tokens and NFTs to our holders. And look at Ghost go again. It is almost at a penny now. It has lost zeros. Four zeros. There, now it's only two zeros. Lost two zeros. And maybe even more. Let's see, was there five zeros at one point? Was that five zeros? Nah. One, two, three, four. Wait, five. One, two, three, four. Oh, dang. <laughs> okay, I thought that was five. But anyway, yeah. So four zeros down to two zeros, they eight two zeros. That's a 20X, a 20X. You would have 20X your money. I told you about this way back here. 
long time ago. So that's all we're going to have for today. Thank you guys for um, tuning in. ICP to the moon, ghost to the moon, tracks to the moon. Let's make money together. Um, the whales are scooping up ICP. They're super bullish. Retail investors aren't quite as bullish because they don't understand the market. So if they sell, we buy their tokens, right? All right, guys. That being said, goodbye and good ICP.